welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore and Ulta haul. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram uh, a week or a little over a week ago of the products that I got and I kind of want to make this video to go in depth about each product a little bit more since I did get to try them out for um, about a week or more than a week. So I did try almost everything and I wanted to give you guys a little mini review on every item. So yeah, um, if you want to see that then keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the drugstore products first and the very first product I'm going to start with is this mascara and is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. Um, I'm almost done with my first one, so I wanted to buy a backup of it. This is definitely one of my favorite mascaras right now, and I just really, really like it. It lengthens, it separates, it doesn't look clumpy, and it just looks really, really pretty. So I definitely had to get a backup of that one. So the next product is a nail polish, and this is by Sally Hansen, and it's the Miracle Gel kind of formula. You don't need a lamp or those little things to put your hand under. It's supposed to give you the effect of a gel nail without the lamps or the heat. So um, I got this in the color Sugar Fix, which is a really pretty powder blue periwinkle color. Um, definitely I've been looking for a color like this and um, I did wear this and I really really liked it. This color is gorgeous. Um, I did have acrylics when I was trying this color out so I don't know too much about it chipping or peeling but on my acrylics it lasted as long as until I took it off. But definitely really like these. The next nail related products that I picked up were these right here. It's from the brand Pop Arazzi, I think. Um, <laughs> this is a top coat and this is a matte coat. Um, I tried the top coat um, and it sucks. Uh, it does not dry fast. It leaves it thick and clumpy and then your nails will never dry and then if you sleep and wake up you'll have imprints and lines and scratches. I tried it twice. I'm like, okay, maybe it was just something about me not waiting or whatever. I painted my nails, my cousin's nails, and it was horrible. Two hours later we were still holding our nails like this because it was not drying. And if you touch them it's like goo. It's like gross. Um, so that's what I get for buying really, really cheap stuff. This was like two for three dollars or two for five dollars or something. This is a matte coat. I tried it on one of my fingernails. It was okay. I've tried better matte coats. I guess I'll still try to play with this, but mm -mm. no. So the next product that I picked up was this Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Um, I've used this many, many times in the past and I just keep going back to it. I really, really like it. It's just a nice setting powder. It sets my makeup and it looks great. Um, there are some foundations that it doesn't go with and I'll share with you in a moment. But if you have really oily skin, I would definitely try this out. You might really, really like this because it does keep you matte. Um, I have normal skin and it doesn't bother me, but if you have dry skin, I would probably not because it will probably make you look drier and feel drier. But yeah, this one is great and I will get to the foundation I don't like it with. So the foundation I'm talking about is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. That Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this just don't, they just don't go together because they're both so mattifying that it just ends up looking so dry. So no on those two together. But separately, this Infallible Foundation I've heard so many things about. So I finally decided to pick it up note in the wrong color um it's definitely way too dark for me i got it in the color 103 which i think is the third to lightest shade but the the lightest shade just looked so pink and so weird i just i don't know like i don't know if i'm gonna find another color that matches me but um wearing this is like you don't need a powder because it dries so mad um to the touch it's just so dry like you don't need a powder but this foundation is pretty good. If you have dry skin, I would probably not recommend this. If you have oily skin, definitely give this a try. Um, I have normal skin again, so it doesn't bother me. But I do notice my skin just looks a little bit dehydrated. Um, it doesn't look super like healthy and natural. It just kind of looks a little bit dry. But I still really like it. Um, I'm using it to like mix with other foundations. So I guess I'll just keep you kind of posted on how I end up liking this. But... Right now it's like way too dark so it's kind of hard to wear on its own but it's not bad. I, I kind of like it and I wore it in really really hot Georgia weather and it worked really really well. It lasted all day long so yeah. The next foundation I picked up was this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation and this is in the color 115. 
Um, it is oil free, it won't clog your pores, suitable for sensitive skin and it lasts all day. Um, I actually really really like this and it's way closer to my skin tone than the other one. Um, it's very light where I don't feel very heavy and cakey but it does a really good job covering. Definitely buildable. Um, I want to say it's like medium. Um, it's not like super sheer or anything like that so I really really actually do like this foundation and I will probably continue to wear it. Very nice everyday foundation if you just have a very casual day, you don't want to like get into the fancy stuff. This is a good backup to have. Um, what else? This is a great foundation and I'm really glad I picked this up. The last thing that I picked up from the drugstore was this Milani blush. And this is one of those rose blushes. This is the color Awakening Rose. It's so pretty and it has a shape of a rose in it, which is gorgeous. Um, I almost didn't even want to use it because it just looks so pretty. But this color is gorgeous and I've been using it every day since I've gotten it. Um, it's just such a soft, silky powder. I love the color. It's just this peachy, rosy color. I don't know. Gorgeous. Love it. Happy I picked this up. And I would definitely recommend these. So, yeah. So the next products I'm going to talk about are all from Ulta. And this Ulta is the one from Georgia. Um, I was in Georgia at the end of June. And... I just could not help it. We ended up in Ulta for some reason and I just where I go makeup follows. Yeah. The very first products that I picked up were these Vegas Nail Lashes. Um, I haven't really seen these here in LA. I wasn't really looking for them, but I just saw them. I was like, oh, interesting, cool. Um, these were the Grand Glamour Lashes and this is the Shining Star. Um, I have not used these ones yet, but this Grand Glamour one is like really dramatic. Um, the one thing I can say is this Grand Glamour one has a very thick band. Um, so hopefully it's not heavy or looks too clumpy on the eyes. And the Shining Star is really pretty. They kind of more of those like fluffy lashes. So I'll definitely give these a try and I'll definitely post pictures when I do. The lashes that I have worn are these ones right here. These are the Ardell Deluxe Pack Demi Westby lashes. Um, it comes with a duo um, lash glue and a little tweezer mechanism type of thing to apply your lashes with, which is really cool. Um, I've never used these Ardell lashes before, but I really, really like them. I was actually wearing um, a set of these in my um, video where I did the Fame Expo haul. They are really nice. They're very comfortable. I love these types of lashes that are just really wispy. They start off really um, short and they kind of just come out towards the end. Those are my favorite types of lashes, so I was really happy I got these and they're awesome. The next things I picked up were some NYX products. Um, I got this NYX HD concealer and this is the color 07. Um, it's a lot darker than my skin. I got this because I wanted to do some cream contouring with these. I have used a lighter shade for underneath my eyes and I really like them so I just wanted to get a darker color to contour with and so far I've really been liking it. It makes it very easy and yeah. The next NYX products that I picked up were these two HD blushes. The first one is the color Nude Tude, and it's just basically a very nude color. It almost barely shows up on your skin, but just gives you a really pretty natural blush. If you don't want to wear anything pink or peachy, this is just going to give you like a super pretty... I don't know, it's just, it's really nice. Um, you're not going to be able to tell, but I really, really like this one on my natural days. The next blush I got is the color Taupe, and I've heard so many things about this because everybody's saying how you can contour with this. It's the perfect contour shade because it, it is that taupe-y shade that mimics a shadow. Um, it's not orangey or brown. And so I was intrigued, so I picked one up, and let me just tell you, no. Uh-uh. You do not contour with this. Well, personally for me, it did not work. It just looks like I got punched in the face. It's way too taupey and purple. Um, it just, it looks so weird. Um, it could be a pretty blush, but for contouring, no. My boyfriend even said, like, are you okay? Like, what is going on in this section of your face? I'm like, well, you know, it just... Yeah. The last NYX product I picked up was a lip pencil, of course. Because when I go anywhere, that's not, like, my local you know, Target or wherever that sells NYX, it's just, I can never find what I want, especially those like really popular lip pencil colors. So when I was in Georgia, I found this one and I was like, okay, I'm excited. And now that I've tried it, I wish I picked up a few more. And that's the color Peekaboo Neutral. Um, a lot of people have probably heard Manny MUA here on YouTube talk about this. It's like his holy grail lip pencil, but 
that's probably why it's like gone because everybody is trying to get their hands on it but I got one and I really really like it this is such a gorgeous color it's just I don't know I just really like it it's perfect for every day and I have been wearing it every day so yeah this one is awesome I should have picked up more oops the next product I picked up is a concealer and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. It's supposed to be light diffusing, peptide infused, and paraben free. Um, I'm really glad I finally got to pick this up because I've just been eyeballing it for quite a while. Um, it's really nice. It's in the color Light Warm. Um, I like more like warm colored concealers. I don't like too pink. Um, so this color is a little bit lighter for me. I like that light look underneath my eyes, but I feel like it's really, really light sometimes. I, if I don't blend it really nicely, you kind of see too much brightness happening, if you know what I mean. Um, and I feel like if I apply it underneath both eyes and start blending one side, by the time I get to the other, I feel like it, it gets a little harder to blend the edges out, like it kind of sets. So I guess just work one eye at a time. But it does a really good job, super pigmented, great coverage. Um, and it's very creamy, so I love that. The last product that I picked up is this Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the color Gilded Honey. Again, this is another product that I just I kept looking at and wanting it and um, swatching it just sold me. It's so pretty. I was kind of thrown off by the size of it because it's kind of small, you know. But um, it's just it's just so pretty. I oh I mean can you can you even see that it's not as soft as the Becca ones like creamy feeling you kind of have to use like a little bit more of a smaller dense brush to apply it I'm wearing it today just it's so pretty it gives you that gorgeous golden glowy look I love it and I'm really glad I picked this up so that is the end of my haul I hope that you guys enjoyed it I hope that it was helpful um, that I tried most of the products and I can tell you a little bit about it rather than just showing you what I got. If you guys like that, let me know. Um, every time I have like a haul or new products, I'll try to use them before I make a haul video so I can, you know, give you like a mini review on everything. But other than that, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jesse, for more pictures and swatches and looks and all kinds of stuff that I post on there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.